He was in command. He wasn't going, listen, he wasn't going to allow them arrest everybody. He protected them to the end. He said, if you want me, then let these ones go. Then they fled. <laughs> they so fled. But one of them left his shirt. <laughs> Bible students say that uh, that was Mark. That he was there that night and fled they all fled only next morning for Peter to come and say I have never seen this man before <laughs> Jesus Bible says when the when when Peter denied Jesus then he just turned and looked the door was open Peter was just there and he turned and looked and Peter caught his eye It's there in the book. He was so ashamed and ran out of there. He was so ashamed because he remembered what Jesus said to him. Peter, he said, I have never seen this man before. <laughs> he was so afraid of death. When he saw the way Jesus was punished, beaten with a crown of thorns, first on his head until blood came out. Aye! He said, aye, aye, aye. I don't know him. <laughs> Have you denied him? No, 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 no. What about that big Bible? They said, hey, pastor. <laughs> what did you do the next time? You dropped the big one and put the small one here. Never deny him. They may call you names. Never be ashamed of him. The Bible says when the apostles had received the Holy Spirit and they were punished for Jesus, they were beaten because of Jesus, they went back rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer for the name of Jesus. When they call you names, be glad. When they insult you because of Jesus, don't be ashamed. Be glad. They don't know him. That's why. They think he's a symbol of reproach. But he's the creator of the world. They don't know him. Never be ashamed of your identity with him. No matter what they say. Be bold about Jesus. When you talk about him, they call you Mr. Goodman. Okay now, Mr. Goodman. We know now. Okay. Uh, don't preach to us. Ah, you're preaching to us. Ah, ah. Okay, priest. Okay, bishop. They call you bishop. Every morning you come to us. Uh, bishop, good morning. You know. Welcome. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you are a priest for God. Can you shout amen, somebody? He said he has made us what? Kings and priests. So when they call you, Mr. Pastor, say, praise the Lord. <laughs> say, Mr. Bishop, say, praise the Lord. Some say, okay, bro, you are bro. Then when they see you talking to a sister, say, bro and sister are here. Oh. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Because secretly, they're watching you. One day, they would say, oh God, forgive me. For what I did to that man, for what I did to that woman, because I was ignorant. Forgive me. Then you hear that that guy who was laughing at you, making fun of you, is now preaching the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ye have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Can you shout amen, somebody? God's grace has increased in your life. I said it has happened. You didn't hear what I said? Hallelujah. The 
that's what I came I came to minister something to you tonight do you understand I was not only sharing the word with you I was ministering something to you that grace has increased in your life you have increased ability hallelujah come on receive it come on glory to God hallelujah oh glory it's yours you are lifted in your spirit increase grace in your life increase ability you are walking in excellence in the name of Jesus you have an excellent mind La Bronda Sandal of a Shebra Goste. Go with a God. Oh, hallelujah. Worship Him. So, in the cross to the band of the higher, it's working in you. The favor of God is working in you. Everywhere you go, you are beautified with His glory, you are beautified with His presence. Oh,